Ramsay MacDonald was the first Labour Prime Minister who came into office in January 1924. And the other parties, historically it had been the Conservatives with Liberals as their chief opposition. They were both in, in a, a, a state of internal dissent and actually they didn't mind a Labour government coming in and as they saw it, showed that it couldn't govern and then went quietly away again. And when Labour, in some respects, did actually rather well, um, that caused a lot of difficulty uh, with the other parties. And so during the summer uh, of 1924, campaigns uh, were run to, show, to try and discredit Labour. Some of the players in this are, for example, the press, uh, particularly the Daily Mail, who um, published the letter uh, and ran a big campaign against what they called the, the, the Reds, um, you know, Labour is controlled by Moscow's Reds. Also the British intelligence agencies, because the key thing about the Zinoviev letter, despite all the things that have been written about it, is that actually it came first into this country. It came to the Secret Intelligence Service, that is the UK's overseas intelligence service, as a telegram from the SIS station in Riga in Latvia. Nobody ever actually found a paper copy uh, that had been sent to the Communist Party or indeed anywhere else. But within a few weeks, uh, copies of the letter were going round in London and were used, as I said, um, against the Labour Party. But because of the involvement of the intelligence agencies and indeed of the Foreign Office and other civil servants, it's become a kind of symbol of uh, supposedly establishment hostility to the left, which plays to a certain, uh, a certain constituency in politics, and it, it's, it's why it's, it's brought up regularly.